So to make the LED cube, we're going to make three layers of nine LEDs. So it looks something like this. Okay, to make soldering easier, I made a jig by putting some pegboard on some scrap wood and drilling nine holes. Now when we put the LEDs in, they fit pretty snug. Just like so. Okay, now we have all the LEDs in place and all the negative leads bent down so that they're touching each other. We can start soldering them in. Okay, we've just finished making one layer of the LED cube. Now all we have to do is make two more. So now that we've finished soldering all three layers, we're going to take one of them, doesn't really matter which, and put it back into the jig. Like, then we're going to take the second layer and place it on top. And while holding it in place, we're just going to solder one of the corner leads. So now when we release it, the whole thing stays in put. Then we're going to solder in the rest of the corner leads so that it all stays steady and in place. Now that all the corners are in, I'm going to go ahead and solder in all the rest of the leads, the sides and the center. And now it's time for our last layer. Now our LED cube is finished. So after we've built our LED cube here, we're going to need some other parts too. So we're going to start off with a piece of perf board. Next, you're going to need nine 220 ohm resistors. These are to control the amount of power going to the LED so they don't burn out. Then you're going to need three 22k ohm resistors. That's a pack of five, but you only need three. And then you're going to need three NPN transistors. I'm using 3904s because they're one of the most common types. also need some wire too. I've got red, I've got black, and I also have green and Green's kind of caught up, but there's green too. All the LED leads are in place. I can turn it over. And it looks like this. So now I'm just going to solder in. We can go about soldering it. I'm going to start with the middle lead here. Just going to solder that. And then I'm going to work on to the corners. And then finally I'll get to the sides. Now perf board isn't that hard to solder onto. You don't need too much solder on it, just a little bead. Now we've successfully installed our 
LED cube into our perf board. And then I'm going to put it next to each of the leads going out of the LED cube itself. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do is on the other side, I'm going to bend the leads out so that when I turn it over to connect to each other, to bridge, so that the positive lead from the LED cube, this lead here, will actually connect to the resistor. And um, wait a second. We're going to start by soldering in the resistor itself into its hole. And then we'll do the other side as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the resistor lead and then we're going to bend it over so that it resides on top or kind of similarly close to our LED lead. And then we're going to solder the LED lead to the resistor lead solder the LED lead to the resistor lead and it creates a nice little solder bridge right there. Now we just need to repeat this process eight more times with the remaining LED leads. Following the design, I'm going to start putting in the transistors. Here's how this whole thing works. These three pins, all the emitters, I believe they're called, on the transistors are going up to ground. The three middle pins are connected to digital pins 11, 12, and 13, and they're connected using 22K ohm resistors. And finally, the last pins on the transistors go to the levels, the three different levels on the cube. So, I'm gonna solder these in. I have here three 22k ohm resistors that are going to attach to digital pins 11, 12, and 13 on the Arduino, as well as the middle pins on the transistors. I have three green wires here that are going to connect the transistors and resistors which connect the levels to the Arduino pins 11, 12, and 13. I've just made the last connections from the transistors and that is those are the connections from the transistors to the different levels here on the cube itself. So electronically now comes the tedious task of taking all these wires and plugging them in. Alright, it's time to power up the Arduino and see if this works. Here we go. And yes, the LED cube is working. Here, let me grab the lights. One sec. Thank you for watching how to make an LED cube powered by Arduino. The link to the instructables is in the description. I'm going to make a part two of this video, which will show you how to make this more final and make it like home decor. We are going to uh, make an Arduino clone called the Hackduino, which I found on Instructables as well. And then we're going to house it in an amazing acrylic case.